Hey guys, it's Eric, owner of Farpoint Farms, and today I'll be doing my first review on Ryobi One Plus tools. That's those 18 volt, uh, they either take NICAD or lithium batteries. And uh, they got, man, they got, I think right now, about 70 items that they sell that use that battery pack. But over the years, uh, several things have come and gone. This is one of the things that is temporarily gone, but I have no doubt it will be back at some point. This is a 10-inch electric chainsaw, and as you can see, Ryobi's been making the OnePlus system for so long, they've actually changed the design of this. Uh, all the old original stuff was this blue color here that you see, blue and yellow. Now, the old batteries were blue and yellow, and the uh, old tools were blue and yellow. At some point, I think it was 2008, 2009, they switched to this like uh, bright yellow. I'll show a picture of what it looks like here. As a matter of fact, this is the updated version of this very same chainsaw. Anyway. Uh, Ryobi makes a ton of tools. If you're interested in buying, you know, maybe a starter kit like a drill and uh, oh, a circular saw. They have that kit at Christmas time. It's the drill, the circular saw, two batteries, and a charger. I'm here to tell you, and I don't work for Ryobi. Oh, man, what a deal. Uh, they're great tools. I use them all around the house. Do a lot of construction stuff with them. And so as a result of, uh, it's kind of like the gateway drug, as a result of getting one of those kits myself in 2000. I'm thinking 2001, maybe 2002. I got the drill and the saw, two batteries. These were just the regular NICADs. I used those until those batteries ran down, bought more batteries. And little by little by little over the years, I've been adding Ryobi tools to the collection. Now, Home Depot sells Ryobi. It's kind of their brand. But uh, if you don't have one around you, and I don't, you can get them online. There's uh, Tool Direct, I think, and several other places. Of course, there's always eBay for used tools. And I believe Amazon sells them. Uh, as well. So plenty of outlets to get them if you don't have a Home Depot nearby. But anyway, back to the tool review itself. This is the Ryobi. Uh, let's see what the model number was. The model number is CS1800. Now again, this has been upgraded and changed over the years. I actually picked this up for five bucks at a uh, flea market, which is not a bad deal. It takes the regular 18 volt battery, has a 10 inch saw blade and a 10 inch bar, and it does have an oiler. So keep the blade oil just like a gas chainsaw would operate. Now, why would you want something like this as opposed to a gas chainsaw? Maybe you live in a very small townhouse or something like that and you just want to use it for trimming bushes back or maybe cutting a limb here or there. Um, that would definitely be a good reason to have it. Detailed work or small work or something you just don't want to drag your regular gas chainsaw out for, that's what one of these would be for. Um, it's not going to replace a gas chainsaw, certainly not. I have an 18-inch Homolite that I'll uh, do a review on at some point. It is like 15 years old and still trucking. Great chainsaw. It was like a bottom of the barrel, you know, consumer grade, and I have abused and used that thing excessively, and it's held up to it. So, uh, this also has held up to time. As you can see, it's uh, been painted. That's because it's been reconditioned and sold. <clears throat> as a matter of fact, somewhere on here, it's yeah, it says reconditioned in there somewhere, written, scribed into it. But it's a functional unit. It works well for what it is. I had the blade sharpened here not too long ago. And for what I'm going to be doing with today, it's perfect. I don't want to grab the chainsaw, the real gas chainsaw out and get it all out and get it fired up and go and do this job because I'm only making a few cuts, maybe two or three. And the biggest around is maybe three inches. And really, that's about the max you want to use something like this for. You could go bigger, but you're going to be working at it. Now, some of the disadvantages of this electric versus a gas one is, uh, other than obviously the size, you can't cut larger items with this thing efficiently is that the speed of this in order to have the torque to cut through the wood the speed is quite slow so everything takes a little longer right not a big deal though it's still effective and uh, I will show you that it's also really quiet so I've got my lithium battery plug that in there it's got a safety bar here you just push that either side that's it that's all the noise it makes pretty impressive uh, and it works. You know, obviously at the speed that it's turning, you're going to have not too many worries about kickback and things like that. But you should wear eye protection, probably ear protection, gloves, all that stuff. I'm not going to use hardly any of that. I am going to wear eye protection. But uh, do as I say in this case and not as I do. It is recommended that you wear this stuff. You could still probably get pretty pretty hurt. I don't think I'd want to get hit with this thing when it was rolling. It, it probably still hurt. Anyway, let me pause the camera. We'll go over to the little tree I'm going to be cutting down. I got a little decorative cherry tree that uh, didn't make it through last winter. And it might come back, although I don't, I don't think so. It looks pretty dead. But I'm going to top it, and uh, who knows? Maybe next year there'll be some fresh growth. We'll see. 
All right, so uh, I'm going to put on my uh, safety glasses. Somebody got these really cool ones for me not too long ago. It was like uh, the Terminator or something here. Anyway, uh, I would just cut this thing completely off uh, for the sake of the demonstration. I'll cut a few of these smaller limbs off just to show you how this works. Now you do want to prime it a few times for uh, the oil to get on that blade. And that just helps it stay lubricated. It's going to make the blade last longer. And uh, let's get started, shall we? So the process is uh, not a loud one, <laughs> definitely not a uh, dangerous seeming one, although like I said, you could probably still get really hurt with this, but that's it, it makes a cut, it just takes a little bit of extra effort. Uh, I'm going to sneak in here and cut it off right down here at the face, and it'll take a little while to do this, but it's going to work. And that's it. So, uh, you know, for a small job like this, and heck, this is, I don't know, three and a half, four inches, so that's not that small. That's probably about the biggest thing you really want to cut, especially if you're going to cut this, if I were going to cut this all the way down, cut it up for firewood. That'd probably use up the whole battery, I'd say. Maybe not, though. You know, I haven't really used one of these. Uh, this is the lithium long life batteries. You usually get the half size ones, they're a little lighter. But I picked up a two pack of these. And, uh, man, they do have a lot of staying power, so you might get a whole whole tree cut down with this thing. I'm not sure. And I'll show you here. I put that down. Ugh. Yeah. See if I can get that out of the way. There we go. Okay. Yeah, big. I'd say yeah, three or four inches. Not a bad tool, really. So, are you going to cut down a, you know, a 30 or 40 foot tall tree with this thing? It's probably a little bit more than what you'd want to use it for. But you could, if you wanted to, uh, just prepare to take a little more time to do the job. But for the small house homeowner, like a, you know, a quarter acre lot, might have a few of those Bradford pears. I've got a few of them here on my property that never really get too big. Or you know, apple trees for pruning apple trees, stuff like that. Perfect tool for that kind of stuff. That's it. I am Eric, owner of Farpoint Farms. I hope you enjoyed what is the first of very many uh, Ryobi OnePlus tool reviews. I've got a lot of them, and I'm always getting and selling some as I see them at yard sales or whatnot. I'll pick them up. If it's something I don't already have, I'll add it to my collection. If it's something I do, I'll fix it up and resell it. Take care, and I'll see you next time.